combo. Here we are <laughs> with our gorgeous Sam. Again, please ignore the eyelashes. I do have to go in and fix eyelashes. I haven't done that yet. Um, game sound is on. It looks like it's really loud. But I hope everyone's been doing well. We're here to play some whimsy stories. Oh, it's very loud. Hang on. Let me turn it down one more time. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're here to play some whimsy stories. And we have got our very, very cute Sims here. We have got Ivy and we have got Liliana. And they're actually just hanging out, chatting a little bit. Um, I have played ahead just the tiniest, tiniest bit. And the reason I did that is because... I, I know we didn't want to play through all that, you know, university and everything like that. So, um, hang on a second. I'm getting distracted because the music is still playing for me. So I'm just going to turn it off because it's distracting me. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> all right, <laughs> here we go. So, yeah. So the reason I played is because I know university is not necessarily the most fun to play through, but you'll see here that we still have another day of classes left. We we have to take our final exams for two classes. Um, I have been helping her maintain her grade. Uh, she's, she's not doing the best. She's doing okay. I know like our Sims always get perfect grades in university because I do find it like, you know, I made it so university is pretty manageable so I can get an A if I want to. However, it's kind of realistic that we wouldn't be getting an A given we're like a single mom with a little tiny infant, a toddler now. Um, but we had an infant um, for a good chunk of our university years. So, you know, it makes sense. We wouldn't be getting perfect grades, I don't think. So, um, so yeah. What we're going to do today, and sorry, I keep double checking to make sure everything's working because I'm on the new PC, by the way. If you're on YouTube, I have a new PC. I think I posted about it um, yesterday and that I was going live today. And so, but it's my first time streaming from one PC. Well, not my first time, but in a long time. My first time streaming from this PC and streaming and gaming on the same PC. So I keep double checking to make sure everything is working because I'm so used to everything not working because streaming from two PCs actually causes a lot more issues. What's up, Ivy? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Okay, you can give them our number. So um, actually, it's things are a lot better <laughs> with one PC. But I'm a little bit paranoid that uh, something is broken and I'm not noticing. So um, let's go and ask her not to splash in the toilet. So yeah, so it's been a little while since we've played, but I hope you have noticed already. And if you haven't, I will tell you the game is looking a lot better and there's like no lag. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I can do that without lag. I have not changed the amount of CC that is in the game at all. This is all the same stuff as on my previous PC. I've migrated it over, but it's running so well. And I actually have been able to set up my Boho Dreams reshade again. This is the reshade, the legacy reshade, I would say, that we've been playing with for such a long time. And the last few episodes, I was playing with another reshade and I really just didn't like it as much. It was Radiance by um, another Twitch simmer who I actually do really enjoy her videos. Um, but this is the reshade that I love. And I actually even adjusted it a little bit. But um, I want to know what you all think. Are you happy to see Boho Dreams working again? Um, were, did you like the other one that we were using? I mean, maybe you preferred the other one. I don't know. You don't have to like the same one as me. For me though, this, it was, it was a vibe and it just, it made the world look more realistic, which I really liked, you know, everything just looked a little bit more real and it looked very calming because for me, Sims is to de-stress. Life is stressful. The real world is stressful. My Sims lives can be stressful. However, we always do our best to give our Sims a happy ending. So even though we go through trials and tribulations, we want our Sims to come out on top. 
And um, we're just always trying to get them to their goals. So, you know, it always, I always know that no matter what happens in the end, everything's going to work out for my Sims. You can't always guarantee that in real life, but in my Sims game, I feel that I can. Hey, Ivy, I think Munavra Lunaris is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? Sure, go ahead. I don't know who that is, but... Um, so yeah, so Ivy has really just been working on school, and um, we actually did go on a little play date with Liliana um, and her cousin, Maple, who's our little sister, or cousin. I guess Maple would be Liliana's aunt. So we did uh, we did take them on a little play date together, and I did want to do that today, but it's actually raining, so um, it's not necessarily the best time for that. Oh, look at them chat. They're so cute. So, uh, but there's this really, really cute park that I saw um, across the way. Oh, now look, I'm all bragging about my game and we're getting a bit of lag. But now we're not. Look, look at this. Look at this gorgeous, amazing, cute, everything perfect park with um, rugs <laughs> in the rain. That's a little bit gross. Those rugs probably are pretty gross um, if they're out in the rain all the time. But anyways, maybe they're made out of some kind of waterproof material that is meant for outdoors. They're outdoor rugs. So, but anyways, it's a really, really cute park. And there's so much stuff to do there, including all the like toddler paraphernalia that we have to play with them in game. So, um, so we did go there with Liliana and Maple just to check it out. I wanted to check it out before the stream. Um, and it was good. And I was hoping that's what we do today, but we're not going to do it because it's raining. So I'm like, I'm repeating myself and it's mostly because I'm thinking about all of these, like, like double checking, making sure that I'm not forgetting anything in my brain now that I have a completely different stream set up. Just like, should I check this? Do I need to worry about this? So I apologize. It, I'm probably going to be a little bit. I'm just going to be like checking and testing things quite a lot today. Um, one thing that I'm not used to is my Sim is in windowed mode so that I can go over and actually like click the stream with one mouse and one keyboard. But uh, every time I click off the window, it turns off our game sound. So that's something that I'm not used to and it's throwing me off a couple of times I've done it. All right, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> or it's 6 p.m. I'm gonna have Liliana nap a little bit while we make dinner. The latest game update, I don't know, does anyone have, um, does anyone have the latest pack? The Life and Death? I don't really know very much about that pack. I think you're supposed to be able to create goals for Sims, but also potentially play with your Sim as a ghost, I think, which I wasn't super into. I thought that that was what the pack was like, OK, you know, another supernatural element. I'm not as into the supernatural packs. I kind of was excited for the werewolf one. I'm not too sure why compared to other supernaturals, why that one appealed to me so much. Um, but like, you know, like the vampires pack and everything. Mermaids I was excited for, but uh, so I thought it was a ghost pack, and so I wasn't really interested. But then I saw something like uh, you actually do um, use it to give your Sims goals, like lifetime goals or something like that. And I don't know, that sounded kind of cool. I don't really understand how it works compared to aspirations, but I might actually look into it. Panther Girl, nope, I don't have the new one. Well, I'm going to take a closer look at it. If anyone has played it, let me know and let me know what you think. It's always the nice thing with the packs is they do always come with a new world and that's always fun. But for our purposes, like we don't need a new world <laughs> right now because our goal, if we still want this to be our goal, we can change it. But our goal is... Um, to potentially to eventually own this house so that we can play as a landlord, which I still haven't played as a landlord. So I'm behind on exploring the new packs. So I feel like it's not such a bad thing for me at least to spread them out a little bit. So, you know, when I start to get a little bit tired of the gameplay, I can add something new to make it exciting again. 
It does have some really cute build by things. Um, you don't have any of the new ones. Okay, so it has cute build by. Yeah, sometimes they do get you with the build by, but um, it's like really the gameplay element that adds so much for me because I play a lot. I mean, we build too. Oh, so cute. So anyways, I might look into it, but I am not, I don't think I'm in a rush to get it. I was kind of just ignoring it, mostly because I was trying to get my whole PC sorted. That was like the priority. And I've spent a lot of money now <laughs> on this. So I can't really spend money. Um, I'm trying to be better at saving more so for, you know, my cats. Um, so, but yeah, just so everybody knows too, uh, because we did build the dollhouse on camera like in the spring. It was a while ago. It was like two seasons ago or something. But I decorated for the most part off camera. And I know like this unit here. Um, I don't think you've ever seen this unit. So I did post the video finally today um, of me decorating because I still filmed it even though we didn't stream it or anything. Um, I filmed myself decorating. I actually didn't, I don't think I filmed myself decorating this unit because I did it really, really fast. But there are photos of the whole house after it was decorated. And so it's just kind of like a speed build. I didn't edit it or anything. So it's quite long. It's like an hour and a half. Um, but I put it to some nice lo-fi music that you can just relax to or fall asleep to. And um, so if you do want to see that, like, Please check it out. It's a little bit different, but it's kind of like a bit of a bonus video. So I don't know if it's better to do builds that way. I know we like to do them on camera. Plucky can Candy, I do not have it either. But for legacy players, the will system, will system and funerals seem to be the big draw for realistic players. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's exciting. I didn't know that those things are in the... See, I don't know anything about this new pack, but to me, that's exciting. Um, I had a lot of fun like playing with the real estate pack. So I love those like realistic elements. It's actually really cool, Plucky. I'm pretty sure you can do funerals too. Yeah, see, I had a mod for funerals. It didn't work very well. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of stuff I like. So actually, it sounds like this pack is truly right down my alley. So maybe it's a good thing I didn't look at it too soon though. Because I, again, I need to wait before I spend money. <laughs> so... But yeah, we are going to focus on, um, well, tomorrow is our last day of exams. So we're going to focus on graduating. But what we do need to decide is like, what are our next steps? Because, oh, that's a dirty kitty litter. Because I love our cute attic apartment. We've played in it for a few episodes now. But I am wondering if we should be thinking about moving. Because what I didn't anticipate was having a child in this space and there's there's not a separate bedroom for her and she's going to be aging up into a child by the end of the week and then it's going to be sort of like winter time so I do think we want to have like a nice space where we can celebrate together <laughs> lol say I'm waiting for sales plucky you and me you and me they always go on sale around boxing day so We'll see if they have a good sale. Usually the older packs tend to get better sales now. They don't do good sales on the new stuff anymore. Um, whoa. <laughs> this is <laughs> Why is my toddler talking to herself? <laughs> the little darling preschool is now open. Will Liliana be attending? Yes, we're going to send her to preschool today. So I did enroll her in preschool. She gets herself up and she heads off on her own. Um, it's been really, really helpful while we're in university. So she's still been skilling, even though uh, I just. Because like otherwise I wouldn't I don't think I'd be able to skill with her. So she goes off to preschool. She gets her skills there. Like I haven't potty trained her once, <laughs> basically. Um Oh, no, why are we not feeling good? Oh, we're stressed because of the final exam. So, yeah, so she heads off. She gets her skills, and it's been super great while we're in university. I did want to imagine that, like, there was a pre, like a daycare at this school that we would drop her off at. But this is a Deep Indigo's mod, a Deep Indigo. A lot of the 
I think a lot of people's maws broke with the update for the last pack. Um, but it's Deep Indigo specifically has been very like slowly updating them. So um, I have put this mod back in the game. So she can go off. But a Deep Indigo released another daycare mod as well, where you can not have your kid go to daycare every day, but just send them to um, a Deep Indigo's daycare for instead of like the in-game daycare and they can gain their skills there as well. So that's really cool. I added that into the game as well. Um, yeah, I was actually, there's a lot of really cool mods out that were not there before. A Deep Indigo and Lumpinu are like the two big mod creators that like I just really put every, <laughs> I I put every single one of their mods that my game can handle in. Now my game can handle a lot more. So I think I'm going to have to go through and add some of the mods. Because I was still like trying to be gentle and and just like add a few at a time. But I want to just go and add like there's so many mods that they have that I've always wanted to try. So um, that might be happening at some point soon. So, but what do you all think we should do? Should we um, consider potentially moving? And if we do move, we do have a couple options. So Meadow is in this apartment here, which is a bachelor's. Um, so like this is like uh, like dining room space, but she's got her bed in there kind of thing. This is a two bedroom. Now, one of the two ladies that was living here actually moved out because she's engaged to our sister Juniper now. So if you missed the last time we played, that all happened. It was very wild. We were playing as Juniper. We took her out on a date because we had a crush on her. And um, they proposed right in front of our eyes without me prompting them or anything. <laughs> so, uh, so this person living here is now living alone even though it's a two bedroom it might actually make sense maybe because we obviously are neighbors we know each other and maybe she doesn't want to get another roommate maybe she would agree like we could switch apartments kind of thing obviously we do it through the landlord like we would do it the right way but if we're like hey we're looking for a two bedroom and she's like well i'm actually looking to downsize to a one bedroom now that i live alone and we each have sort of the type of unit the other one is looking for. Maybe we could just swap apartments and then we continue to live um, in the dollhouse as we save money to eventually own and move down into the big apartment down here. And the reason why this apartment, I think, is our end goal is because it has four bedrooms. We have to adopt four kids. So this will have the space for us to grow. So what do you all think about that plan? That's what I was thinking. You can say no if you don't like it. We don't have to move into this one. Um, but that was that was basically what I thought could be kind of fun to do. And then eventually, and then it will be like we'll have lived in almost every single apartment. Obviously, Meadow has lived in this unit um, without us. But because it's our sister, it kind of like we probably spend a lot of time there. You like that plan, Panther Girl? Okay, I like that plan too. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to potentially look at moving into that space uh, by the time Liliana is aging up into a child. So we might do it next episode. And, um, and we will be doing two whimsy streams next week just because I want to make up for having been gone so much. So... <laughs> I really, I know that I've been really, really bad about, I mean, I took a lot of time this past summer because there was a lot that happened last winter and I kind of was like in a, in a very functional survival mode throughout all of it. But at some point I needed a break. Um, so the summer I was, yeah, that was my time off. But I'm back now. I came back and I was ready to be back. But my PC, you know, had other plans. And now hopefully, hopefully everything is good. So we're going to make up a little bit for the time that I've missed. So we'll have a Tuesday and a Thursday stream next week. We can move into our new apartment next week and maybe even look at adopting our second child because we do need to. Oh, this is our neighbor, by the way. This is the person whose apartment we'd be switching with. Um, remember we talked about Munavera Lunaris? We went on a very nice date. Congrats. So, so yeah, because I think, like, we just want to start progressing into, into um, Ivy's story a little bit. 
And Ivy's very focused on family. Hey, Ivy, it's me, Sherry. Do you want to come to my birthday party? It's at 6 p.m. Yes. Obviously, we want to come to your birthday party. Wait, it's her mom's birthday? Oh, that's so cute. Should we... Oh. See, I thought maybe we should start painting um, just to help us make a little bit of money. Um, because we really do need a lot of money to be able to afford this house. So... So yeah, I think that's what we'll do then. And I think we will try and move like, I know I decorated this house, but I think we're gonna do what we normally do like in, in some of our other games where we're gonna try and move with like the furniture that is in the apartment. So we'll pack it all up so that we can still have the same furniture and we'll just place it into the new place. I think that's what our, our plan will be. Oh, the property owner is here. Okay. Um, oh, there's Meadow. Wonder where she's off to. Oh, do I have my headline? Headline effects on. There we go. Uh, Meadow, where are you headed? Oh, she looks sad. This is the property owner, Panaya. Meadow, why are you so sad? What's wrong? Where are you going? She's just walking around being sad. I thought maybe she was coming to use the barbecue or something, but... Nope. Just being sad. Uh, what is this? A meat cube. Ooh, I'm going to take that. I keep finding things around the house, like... Just, like, random things that are worth money and taking them. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Let's stay out here. I'm going to do a little bit of a harvest. I know we don't like gardening, but other people do. And just because they're gardening, it doesn't mean that we can't, like, harvest whatever they're um, planting for us. What do we have? We have a rose bush. That's a holly bush. Snapdragon. Lily. What's this? Have a shrub, snapdragon. What is this? Oh, that's that game. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, well, let's open these starter fruits. <gasps> okay, so there's an apple and a cherry tree. So I saw as part of what we're supposed to do here is we are supposed to like plant an apple and a cherry tree. So I am going to have us do that. But we don't really have a spot for it. Can I just like plant it out in the wild or? Plant it here. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's come and plant these things. When is our second exam, by the way? We're not missing it, are we? One thirty. Okay, so it's coming. We might not be able to plant before we have to go to our exam. We'll see. Oh, look at the little wild rabbit. So cute. So. What's the owner's name? Oh, let's check. I think it was Panaya. Where is he? That's hiding from the storm. Yeah, here he is. The owner's name is Panaya Lee. Or Pania. Panaya. I'm not a hundred percent sure like how they pronounce it, but um P N Y A. Yeah, obviously I haven't done this either. <laughs> There's not a lot of time left, so I don't know if I'll be able to do everything, but I will try. Um, we need to fulfill an aspiration goal, become friends with the Grim Reaper. I did call the Grim Reaper earlier. Hatch three fish, fertilize two plants. Okay, I don't know if we have enough. Oh, we do. Fertilize. She hates gardening, by the way. It's like her least favorite activity. 
I think because she had to do it so much as like a kid. There we go. I thought you were saying Benaya. Oh no, but that's kind of a cool name though. Um, sent to daycare. Mm. I have some ginger tea. Ginger tea is so good. My roommate gets this really, really, really amazing ginger tea that really, it tastes like when I actually take the time to just like cut up ginger and have it in hot water, which is something I do love to do, but it's a lot of work peeling ginger, so I don't do it as much as I could. Look at all these stray kitties. <gasps> we could just have so many cats. That cat is so cute. We, of course, have our wonderful sprinkles. I did get um, sprinkles spayed, by the way, uh, while we were in between episodes uh, because sprinkles was six. We were already at the vet, and I thought I would get him spayed because that's the responsible thing to do as a pet owner, and it wasn't going to take up time on stream. So, so yeah. It's your son's name, Benaya. Oh, that's a cute name. I like that name for your boy. You always come up with really creative names, Panther Girl. Even when you're naming our Sims. I think we've used a lot of your names in my games. Going like this, we can watch watch the storm while we wait. As that she is going to be a professor, I think. Yes, she is. You could have her write short stories and say they are research papers, as most people with a lot of letters after their name are usually published in some form or another. Now, having said that, I find the book writing to be buggy. They must complete the entire book in one sitting, which is challenging, especially with small children. Lucky Candy, that's a really good idea. I like that idea a lot. And and actually, so my sim self, whenever I play her... <laughs> She's always an author, like she writes books for a living, and I make a lot of money doing that with my sim self. But it's because my dream life would have been to be an author. Um, and, you know, it's not too late. Maybe one day I will. I've not had, I don't think, like that great idea. I always, I, like, I've written a lot of short stories. Um, but I kind of feel like I live it out when I play Sims because I get to play their stories. So, well, I'm not necessarily writing them on paper, I, I am storytelling. So I kind of feel like I, I am fulfilling a little bit with my streaming. But I really like that idea. And um, it is difficult with small children for sure. But the one thing, we did break a rule when we adopted Liliana because we are all the four kids that we're supposed to adopt, we are supposed to adopt them as children or older. We're not supposed to adopt toddlers and we're not supposed to adopt infants. We made the exception because of the unique situation we found ourselves in with our sister um, who was pregnant and did not necessarily want to be. So we did take on... Um, We did take on that responsibility because we thought it would be, oh, speaking of, I'm just going to reset her. She keeps showing up with an umbrella and then the umbrella like glitches her. So I'll just do this so I can get her inside quickly. So we're not actually going to have to worry about dealing with like another young child after this. Even though she's so cute and I love the young children. And I think that um, Ivy would also love the young children. But we are taking on, you know, the like older kids. And I do imagine it is like. I think we did come up with a story at some point about how she would be a teacher and maybe like at a school that was like in a bit of a uh, more like in maybe a less affluent area. Oh, no, no, no. Don't don't go in the toilet, baby. Um, and from there, maybe she would meet kids that didn't have families or, you know, had foster families or something. And so she would, you know, maybe that's how she would meet the kids that she would adopt. So that was kind of like something that we had talked about as part of her story. So maybe... That's why she chooses to adopt the older kids because I think it's it's also something where like I think it's also a thing that like older kids are less likely like when people adopt they tend to want to adopt younger babies. Oh no, why is she crying? Oh, because she's wet. Let's change her clothes.
So, you know, and I, Ivy, we know, has a big heart. She's a very caring person. So I think that could also be why she maybe adopts older. She wants to make sure everyone has a home and has the opportunity to be loved. You know, she grew up in a family with a lot of love. And um, she wants to share that, I think. Don't worry, Ivy. We'll put some dry clothes on you so you don't have to be sad. She's like in a great mood. Let's put a movie on for her. Um, can I just like turn on the TV? Do I have to watch it? I don't know. But I, I need to change the cat's food. So let's empty. Where is Sprinkles? Oh, Sprinkles, why are you stinky? There we go. We'll fill the bowl. We'll call up Sprinkles. Um, why don't you come and play rock a stack? Yeah. So when you have a stinky kitty in Sims, you can brush them. We'll pet. And then a brush. Go. Your neighborhood's eco footprint is green. Nice. That's cool. So, but yeah, look at how my game loads so fast too. <laughs> like I just can't get over it because my game. So, so I don't know if like the way my old PC was set up was my main drive was was like just like a very small like 240 or something gigabyte drive and um with my sims games that pretty much filled it all up so i had to use oh oh my gosh we failed a course <gasps> beginning neuropsychology b plus pondering personalities a plus baking macaroons maca macaron macaroons f we failed a class. Does that mean that we're not going to graduate? I think we need one more course. <gasps> How did we fail a baking class? We failed a baking class and we didn't get our degree. I can't believe it. Oh, no. That's awful. <laughs> oh. Well, there's... So we have one more semester, everyone. I lied. I thought that we were, like, almost almost done our university but we have one more semester because we failed a baking course so we're gonna be graduating next week <laughs> oh my gosh i can't believe that oh party starting soon yes and i'm bringing some friends let's go with okay we'll bring aspen meadow juniper uh where's our daughter okay we can't bring our daughter I'll bring her once we're there. Um, do I remember who Juniper's fiance is or Aspen's for that matter? They both have them. I don't think that we know them. <sighs> okay. Well, maybe they'll bring them of their own volition. We'll see. So, but anyways, that's amazing. I can't believe that we failed baking. <laughs> I feel like we would really enjoy baking too, so. But anyways. <sighs> it's fine, we'll do another semester. All right, I'm going to bring Liliana here. There we go. Oh my goodness, Metal looks so good. Like, oh, she's got little matching sneakers on to her dress too. I love, I love this mint color on her. Meadow just always looks amazing. I just, I love it. I just wish I, I just wish I looked like that, you know? Oh, and there's Juniper. Juniper has her cute pixie cut, which I love, but I feel like she's worn this party outfit before, so I should probably change it. Um, there's our mom looking amazing. Also potentially could change her party outfit because we've seen it a lot. Um, and then who else is there? Oh, this is our little sister. This is Maple. Maple has glasses, I've noticed. So because I did all her outfits, I didn't give her the glasses, but 
Um, she put them on. So I'm assuming her parents must have taken her to get some glasses. But she's really, really cute. Look at her. She's so adorable. We could potentially end up taking on Maple as well at some point. I'm not too sure. And then there's Aspen. Aspen's looking tough. Look at her. She looks upset about something. I love Aspen. Aspen is still like, I think, I don't know, all the kids. All the kids were my favorite in this household. Ivy really got like the least attention. So I feel like we know her the least, but I love her too. Um, Jens. Oh my goodness. This is Meadows man, Jens. Oh, that she cheated on, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, um, that's so nice. It's her mom's birthday. Let's chat. Who's this? Name, surname. Okay. Hi, name. <laughs> Why don't you have a name? Why is your name name, surname? Somebody forgot to name you. <laughs> that is interesting. Eleonora. Okay. I guess other people have shown up for this party. Vanessa De La Cruz. Cool. Oh. Maya Miles. Oh, are we going to hug our grandpa? <gasps> Look, let's go meet Eric. Look, so cute. Um, maybe macaroons are especially difficult. Actually, I think they are. <laughs> I think they are quite difficult. My sister did make me some one year for my birthday. Um, she did a good job, but like to make them all even shapes and sizes and stuff. Like, and she said they were really hard to make. Like, you have to be very, very precise. Oh, I love that. Oh, look, she blew him a little kiss. Aw. Oh, now she's going to go talk to her grandma. Oh, why are we sad? Stranger danger. No, that's your grandfather. That's not a stranger. What is this? Snapdragon. Oh, I think we did that right before we left. Oh, she's sad. Come, come, give your grandma a hug. Yeah, see, she knows. She knows her grandma. Who's this lady in a towel? I like her tats, but why are you in a towel? <laughs> she's very pretty, actually. But I just don't understand why she's in a towel. Let's um go meet her. Respectful introduction. Oh, Ivy went out to the garden to do her homework. She's like, oh yes, just like old times. I miss this house, but I like our new house. I like our, our cute apartment. We've had a lot of like, we spent a lot of time in this house. I never got tired of it. I think it's because we built it slowly over time. And so like every detail, we spent a lot of time on it. Aw, happy birthday, mom. Um, whoa, be greeted. Someone's greeting us flirtatiously. <gasps> name likes us. Name. We look like we could be related. He doesn't look that different from our family. Are we related? But then why is he flirting with us? Let's take a look here. What does it say? First impression. Interesting sim. There's just something about name that seems a vibe in a way that appeals to Ivy. And he thinks we're admirable. Oh, we also think he's admirable, but he thinks we're clingy. We do have amazing compatibility, but neutral chemistry. I mean, we could be compatible with Sims, but we're, we're unflirty. Oh my gosh, I love her outfit too. Who is this Maya? Is she... She thinks we're clingy. I guess we're a clingy sim. Everyone thinks we're clingy. Look at the family trio. That's a good idea. This sim is cute. Like, who is she? Is she part of the new pack? I just don't understand why she's in a towel. Let me see if I can put her in another outfit. She has towels for a lot of her outfits. I'm just going to put her in her every day. Like, look, she's cute. Who is she? 
Um, okay, let's look at the family tree and see if we can find name, surname. All right. Uh, let's go all the way up to Jaslyn. So Jaslyn only has Sherry. And so far, so Liliana is actually, as we know, Aspen's daughter. But she shows up under us because we did officially adopt her. Nobody else has kids yet. What about on Eric's side of the family? Eric's just got his brother, Bennett, who does have a daughter and is married. Okay. Well, I don't know who that is, but he sure does look like us. Like, really? Doesn't look that different. If he took off the hat and glasses, I, I swear he'd be like a cousin or something. Aw, look at Ivy taking care of little Liliana. So cute. Aw. Why are you sad, baby? Oh, right, because she hates being held. Ivy, can you put your, put your child down? Put her down. She doesn't, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like being held. Look at how our house looks so great with our Boho Dreams preset back. I'm so glad we got this back. I'm so glad. How's the game volume, by the way? Is it is it okay? Is it too loud? It's like just the right loudness for me, but I don't know if that means for you. So let me know if you want me to adjust. Oh. Look, we're going to be able to bring her here when she's a child and she can play in the treehouse. That'll be so cute. Oh. Somebody's doing... Um, Yoga. Oh, she wants a bath. She's never had a bath before because we don't have a bath. We've only been washing her in the sink. <laughs> I guess we may as well take advantage of grandmas and grandpas and give her a bath while she can. Oh, she's going to wear her shoes in the bath. All right. So she loves water. That's why she keeps playing in the toilet. Um, and why she wants a bath so badly. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Aww. So adorable. I cannot hear the game sounds at all, nor music, but that could just be me. I did turn off the music because I don't know if I have it set up correctly so the music will not be in the VOD. But I can turn the game sound up a little bit. There, I turned it up. So let me know. There. So you, sh you should be able to hear Sims talking. Oh, I'm hearing an echo. Or maybe that's just the Sims voice. There's an echo. Whoa. Oh, right, because this is Meadow's boyfriend. Okay. I'm like, oh my gosh, Meadow's making out with someone. But no, they are boyfriend, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, Meadow is so pretty. Oh, she still has braces on. I should probably fix that. But she is a super pretty. I should do a quick save. Why is the gas on? You can hear them now? Okay. Plucky, let me know if it's... A good loudness, if it's too loud, if you want me to turn it up or down, let me know. That looks unsafe. <laughs> Why is this burner on? Meadow's like, hmm, I don't, I don't know if that should be like that. Let's go in really quickly and just take her braces off. Also, you're going to see that um, how quickly my game loads Cass. This thing, though. Yeah, see? That took no time at all. No time. I just, like, did not know that this was a thing, that Sims could be this fast. Even, like, without CC, when I would turn, um, when I'd have CC off, because, like, you know, of an update or something, it's it would not be this fast. Like, it's it's so fast, I just can't get over it. Uh, but this, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why my plumb bob is flickering. 
<laughs> this, I, this, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm, I think that I got um, Sims 4 Studio. I think there's a batch fix that will fix this issue. I think that there's something wrong with some of the game graphics or icons or something. Or maybe it's because I have a, a different monitor. I'm not sure. Oh, someone needs to pee. Don't worry, Judiper, the toilet's right there. Okay, we've switched over to another household. Where are my Sims? Did they leave? Oh, why is the Grim Reaper here? Someone dying? Uh. Oh, no, nobody's dying. Where are, where's Ivy? Did Ivy leave while we were in Cass? She's like, mm, okay, well, we're just, oh no, she's out here. Um, let's switch over. Um. Go. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I switched to playing this family. I think there's a way, but I'll just jump back into Cass and then leave again. I miss my loading screens too. My daughter has one that works fine because it has a custom plum bob. Oh, it's the loading screen that's causing issues. I see. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't too sure what was causing it. I'm gonna do one more. While we're here, give her one more outfit. I want to give her some jeans with that one. Maybe I'll change her hair on this one. Oh, well, that'll be sad. I do like my loading screens, too. There we go. There we go. I'm going to put her back in this look because this is what she was wearing. She looks like her mom. She does, doesn't she? All right, I'm going to have to look for a new loading screen. I love this one, though. It's so pretty. But it is fall, so I should put... It's actually, like, almost winter, really. <laughs> But for you in the U.S., it probably is still fall because um, I think your Thanksgiving is end of November. So it comes a little after ours. So I should put a fall one for you all. I think I have some nice fall ones actually saved somewhere. I wonder if they would work. Max has changed something in the coding of loading screens because of a change possibly being added to their loading screens in the future. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, so I might not even be able to use my nice fall ones that I have saved. Maybe I can just get something that will, like, delete the loading screen. Hang on. Let's try and make friends with Grim here. Yeah, you can like dancing. Um, because this is one of the things we're trying to... Oh. Ivy fears death too much to plead with the Grim Reaper. Okay. Well, that's not our Grim Reaper friend then. Is there food that we can grab? Available leftovers don't match Ivy's food preference. We have a food preference? Since when? Can I have like a quick meal? Nope. Okay, well, we're really hungry and we're really tired. So it's like almost midnight. I think we're gonna have to leave this party. Let's get out of here. Plenty of people are already starting Christmas stuff. Oh, okay. Are you in the U.S., Plucky? So even though you haven't had your Thanksgiving, people still are starting to celebrate. Uh, make yourself enjoy your playing time. Well, I actually really like the fall loading screen, so I was kind of excited to be able to use them. <laughs> They're really nice, but if I can't use those ones, then I'm going to have to find completely new ones, so... Um, so yeah, I'll see if I can find, 
Yes, you are. Okay. So, so even though even though you haven't had Thanksgiving, it is still acceptable to start Christmas. For us here, like I mean it really it really depends on the person you talk to. Some people as soon as Halloween is over, they start their Christmas, but there's a big the big debate is November 11th, like waiting until November 11th. There's some people that think it's disrespectful to start um before Remembrance Day. Um and then there's there's of course the people that are just like no it has you have to wait until December like don't do it so early. So it's like very controversial depending on who you talk to. Oh, she wants to use the pot. Okay, I will let her do that before I put her to bed. And that's actually okay because like we're hungry and stuff too. So maybe we can go ahead and get some food and watch some TV. Ooh, I meant to repeal. I don't put my tree up until after Christmas, Panther Girl. <laughs> That's kind of nice, actually, because January gets like, well, January and February, I find, are really like dark, sort of sad months. So it's nice to have something exciting. Your daughter wants to start decorating for Christmas yesterday <laughs> and yours. You're deaf a lot, minute person. Oh, yours wants to start for Thanksgiving. I didn't put up a tree last year. I either have to do it early or else it's not happening at all. Because if I'm doing it too close, then all I'm thinking about is that I'm going to be taking this down in like a few days. <laughs> and so it's not worth it. And that's what happened last year. It got like, it got too close. It got too close to Christmas. And I was like, no, it's not going to happen. It's too much work for just like a short window of time. So I didn't decorate last year. But maybe I'll put up my tree, not this weekend, I'm going to be gone, but maybe I'll do it next weekend. You put it up after Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, okay. And your daughter wants to put it up now. For, because in the US, I feel like your Thanksgiving, I always ask this every year, I know, I should know, but your Thanksgiving's like really, really a big thing, isn't it? Like, you celebrate for like a whole weekend, I think. Because it's, I think the th Thursday is Thanksgiving. Is that right? It's the Thursday is the Thanksgiving. And then what's the Friday? Because I feel like people don't work on the Friday in the US. Oh, it's Black Friday, right? Is that a day off too? Like from work? Black Friday. Yeah, I feel like you get like a whole weekend. Because for us, we have a Monday, Thanksgiving Monday. People get it off. And some people celebrate, some people don't. It's like not like a huge thing. And then that's it. But I feel like you have like a whole weekend, like a big weekend in the US. And then after that, it's like, like it's it kicks off your whole month of celebrating. For some people, not retail. Okay. How do you do Christmas tree with cats and not just end up with broken everything? That's a great question. Um, how? How is it? I mean, well, for one thing, I don't actually have that many decorations. I mainly put lights in it, and then I have these, like, sparkly snowflakes, but I don't really decorate it other than those two things. So there's no, like, breakable decorations in them. I don't put, like, baubles and all that stuff in. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the simple tree. Um... And I just, like, have never bothered to get more decorations because I would, like, have to, you know, I'd have to buy them. So, so that helps. I just have these, like, little sparkly snowflakes. My cats don't really go after them. Um, and it was worse when uh, I would get a real tree, but I have a fake tree now and my cats aren't interested in the fake tree. Your dog is going to like the tree. Oh, yeah. See, he hasn't experienced a tree yet, so... That will be new for him for sure. Um, but yeah, with my cats, my cats get more interested in um, 
like the presents and stuff. Like my one of my cats really likes ribbon. So I actually don't like ribbon in my house. I tend to not use it at all because he will eat it and and vomit everywhere. So I try to keep – when I have friends over and they bring gifts and if there's ribbon in the gift, which does happen, I try to, like, throw the ribbon out as fast as I can. So ribbon is, for me, the biggest issue, more so than um, the tree. And the tree is really just, like, they're not – they've never been interested in the fake tree. They were only interested when the tree was real. Oh, no, electrical failure. Okay, luckily we only have, like, limited electronics. But it's making a really annoying buzzing noise. Why are you angry? Stop it! Oh, the lights are annoying her. Okay, let's, um... Show tenant agreement? What's that? Oh! Oh, nice! We can see! Oh, we have a seven-day lease. I didn't even know that. Remaining days. Six days. Oh, look at that. So we're gonna have to... Make sure we time our move with the number of days left in the lease. Oh, there's so many rules. No ghosts. No pets. What? I did not know this. We have a cat. <laughs> no trash. Tenants. Okay, that's fine. Maximum occupancy. Choose a crowd. Three is a party. And four sims in one household violates the maximum. Oh, my gosh. No loud noises. No social events. Oh, there's so many rules. We don't even have a well-maintained place, but... The environment is fancy, luxury, many size, medium. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, anyways, <laughs> I didn't realize there were so many rules. I honestly believe that Thanksgiving has changed dramatically, and there's a lot less of tradition with Thanksgiving than there used to be. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I I feel like we we've always had like a meal on Thanksgiving here, but it's. Like, in my family, at least. But it's never been, like, a really big thing. I don't even know if we did anything this year, to be honest. We probably did. I think we celebrated my birthday or something on Thanksgiving weekend. Not sure. Your dog never touched your tree. Can you change it when you take over? Yes, we're definitely going to change the rules. We're living here illegally with a cat, and I didn't even know. I, that was not a rule when we moved in. I think it was only, like, no loud noises or something. Um, let's put Liliana back to bed. She's getting annoyed with the flickering lights. That is fair. That's annoying. Yeah, we'll change all the rules. We're definitely going to allow pets. We, we like our pets. Um, will she be attending? No, she doesn't need to go today because we're actually... Um, we don't have class, I don't think, right? Yeah, we don't have class today. Um, I am going to try and repair this. I should probably save before in case she like electrocutes herself or something. So, but yeah, I always thought it was a bigger thing in the US, but I guess it's 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 lessening. I don't know too if it's because sorry, I'm getting I'm getting a Kit Kat. <laughs> Some my little box of Halloween candy. <laughs> um maybe it's also because I don't have a lot of Canadian family and the Canadian family I do have are French Canadian. So like they still celebrate Thanksgiving, but I just feel like it's different than if you're like English Canada. But I don't have a lot of family that celebrates, so. But everyone gets the day off, so that's nice. But yeah, I might not have the best perspective, too, on how Canada does it, I guess. It doesn't feel like it's a big deal here. All right. I wanted to fix that so it wouldn't buzz while she was sleeping, but I am going to call the landlord to try and fix the other stuff. You do two Thanksgivings, one with his parents and one with your husband's grandparents and his aunts and uncles on his dad's side. That sounds fun. That's like a big family reunion.
Wow, I can't believe. <laughs> I still can't believe of all the classes we could fail. It was baking. That's not even because we're that was just our elective. Like I know when I was in university, like we didn't have to take as many electives, you know, but we still had to take some. And you would take like the classes that were sort of the like there were specific science classes and stuff for the people that were not in science and had to take it as an elective because we still had to take one science credit in university. And it was the same thing. If you were in science, you still had to take one arts credit. And not a lot of universities did that, but mine did. I remember. And, um, and so you could take like, you could take like a, a less sciencey science class or something. I think I took a geology class and they jokingly like we used to call it rocks for jocks because it's supposed to be the easy geology class, not the hard one for like the actual scientists. So anyways, I feel like this baking, it was like an elective, you know, so it shouldn't have been like overly strict. <laughs> we probably just didn't show up. I feel like that's the way that you fail those classes is by not showing up. Same with Christmas, but we do three because we do our own and we watch Polar Express every Christmas Eve. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, Christmas is a bigger thing in my family for sure. Um, on like the French side, we uh, we actually for us, Christmas Eve is the big holiday. So. Um, oh, no, I let my gnocchi go bad. Oh, that's sad. Um, so, yeah. Oh. What just happened there? That was weird. Um, so yeah, for us, Christmas Eve is like the big day. That's a bigger day than Christmas Day. And typically you would like come back from your midnight mass and have like a bunch of food and wine. And even at the church, they usually have food and wine. You come home and you have more food and wine and you open your gifts and you stay up until like the sun comes up kind of thing and then you go to bed. So that's like more so the tradition on that day and then christmas day is like the day to rest you recover from you recover from christmas eve <laughs> and you like when we were kids like you play with your new toys and your new games and stuff when you're an adult you mostly just sleep <laughs> you're like yes and sleep everyone's busy and tired and exhausted I like that you have a specific movie you watch, though. I think that's really cute. Last year, we had matching PJs. And me and my kids, my mom bought... We spent our first Christmas in our new house. Oh, that's so cute. That is really, really cute. I like that. I, um... Maybe me and my roommate should get matching PJs. And get PJs for all the cats and for Pilu as well. No, don't go. I need you to fix all my stuff. Let's do a respectful introduction. That could be fun. That could be a fun way to celebrate, I think. We can start our own tradition in my house. <laughs> okay, why... Are you on the ground? Oh, you're playing. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that could be fun. My mom used to like always having us still sleep over for Christmas. So I used to try and do that as much as I could. Like we'd do the réveillon or whatever, and then we would stay and then everyone would relax together on Christmas day and we'd just eat leftovers because we do our big meal too like my dad would make his special soup his Slovak soup that he likes to make every year and we would have all of these like appetizers and stuff so the next day we'd just eat leftovers and everyone would relax but um I haven't been able to do that because of Mowgli and his insulin so I don't mind <laughs> being home i like resting in my own house like that i do like but i i'm i miss the réveillon like the after midnight like celebration with everyone and stuff and because usually my aunt comes to town and everything 
So I do miss that. I haven't been able to do it. So I think I need to start my own tradition. And maybe it'll just be matching all my animals in cute pajamas. <laughs> You've been in your new house for a year. That's so exciting, Panther Girl. We should start, like, asking people to share their decorations and stuff in Discord. Because I'd like to see how everyone decorates. Maybe it'll get me inspired. And I'll put up my tree finally this year. Last year, I didn't. I do want to this year. The last couple years have just been a little bit rough. My... I, I haven't really, I guess, yeah, I don't, I don't talk about some stuff that's happened, but there have been, like, some pretty close, dangerous situations for family and stuff, and so... Anyways, everyone's okay. That's what matters. But there have been uh, some close calls <laughs> in a couple of situations. So, including, like, last winter. That's why I took, like, that time off. But, but yeah, I'm hoping, like, everything's figured out now. And so I'm kind of feeling like I'm recovering my energy and, like, my excitement just for, like, the day-to-day -day stuff. I'm going to get Liliana up. She slept, slept in until noon. It's pretty late. We haven't really been, like, I know we haven't really had, like, a very, very focused, we haven't been super focused with anything that we're doing. We're just kind of, like, trying to keep things tidied up. We're really tired. I want our landlord to fix our fridge because I'm afraid that we'll get electrocuted if we try to do that. Oh, we have scratches on our couch. Maybe we'll leave the couch if we move. <laughs> we'll get a new couch because that one's got scratches on it. Um, I do think that this is a good time to start working on your plan of writing books because we only have one university course, so we're only doing it part-time. Oh, we can't do it right now, of course, because our electronics are broken. Um, we'll sell our painting. Is there anything else that I can fix that the landlord didn't do? This for maintenance. Okay. Well, the landlord didn't fix our fridge, and I think we're just going to have to go ahead and do it. This baby loves playing in the toilet. Look at her. <laughs> Sweetie. That is unsanitary. Please do not splash in the toilet. Great job sorting out the electrical failure. As a result, the unit rating went up. Well, I mean, I'm glad for us, but that's going to make our rent go up. And we had to do all those repairs ourselves, so that's a little disappointing. <laughs> we just did all of that to make our own rent go up. Womp, womp. Let's go mop this up. Oh, no, the fridge is still broken. Okay. Well, but the rest of the electricity seems to be back, so we probably could uh, write our book, but I think actually what we need to do is sleep. You want to come over and hang out. I don't know who you are. Maybe next time. Oh, no. Well, I wish you were coming, but I understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sir. All right. Well, I think Meadow's come to help us with the baby because we had a rough night, so we're going to go ahead and go sleep. And Liliana is going, oh, why is she angry? Shredded and torn from sitting on a scratched furniture. This furniture is scratched. Liliana needs a word with that cat. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, oh, she's trashing my house. <laughs> the baby is so concerned about the fact that her couch looks like trash. Oh, look at all those scratches you can see in it. Let's snuggle together. Oh, I know why I'm getting the sound twice. Because I don't need to do it this way anymore. Oh, I just realized something. So now that everything is on one device, game sound, I don't have to, I don't have to get the game sound through um, Streamlabs anymore. I can just get it straight into my headphones from my computer. That's amazing. 
Okay, I think he fixed our fridge finally, so that's great. I'm happy. Um, Liliana's just chatting with Meadow. Oh, and the landlord. The landlord's like, <laughs> you have a cat and a baby. <laughs> There's not room for two people in this unit. It's overcrowded. Everything's getting scratched by your cat. What? That cat? No, that's not our cat. It's just visiting. <laughs> I don't know how. It just lets itself in. Just please ignore the cat. It's not ours, I swear. This cat bed? That's not a cat bed. That's that's my chair. That's my chair that I do all my homework in. Um, that baby is, uh, is, uh, actually, it, that baby doesn't live here either. Trust me. <laughs> You've got it all wrong, landlord. <laughs> oh, no. I think the cat is eating the garbage. I'm gonna go shoo it away from the garbage. Oh, Meadow's leaving. Well, she helped us out a little bit, but we should probably get up. Can we lecture about eating trash? Please do not do that. We need to pay more attention to this cat so we train it to not scratch our furniture and stuff. I didn't even realize that it was doing so much damage. Don't eat trash. Thank you. Snurb. Snurb. <laughs> um, let's hug it out over the emotional meltdown she had over the couch. Yeah, it's okay. I know the couch is messy, but we'll get another couch one day. We love having a cat, so um, we should clean this and give food. Let's give you some peas. There we go. Oh, look at her dance. She's so cute. So, what does everyone think, by the way? Do you like having boho dreams? Or I can, let me temporarily switch it back to the other preset that we've been using. So, boho dreams, this is the one. I did add a couple of different things on, including, uh, tone map. This was the big one I added. Because I feel like it makes things look just a little bit more realistic. I think because my graphics are a little bit better now, I kind of like just having a little bit extra sort of like grunge on it. Um, but the one that we were playing with before is this one. So I don't know. It's a little bit oversaturated for me. You like this one? Sorry, by this one, do you mean the old, like this one, the one that the we've just been using temporarily? The first one you had. Okay, yeah, me too. I think it's a lot better. It makes a big difference to me. I really, really like the Boho Dreams one. I've been kind of playing around with it a little bit because I a part of me feels like my game looks a little bit too... I don't know. Anyways, I'm trying to make the game look a little bit like grungy or something. Oh my gosh, where'd she go? <gasps> she just disappeared. That seems to happen whenever I pick her up out of this high chair. Um, are, am I okay with the cat being on surfaces? Yeah, I guess so. Um, oh, we're going to read to her. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I, I do. I think this one's a lot better. Oh, maybe we're not going to read. Okay, never mind. Um, but we do need to eat something ourselves. So let's go ahead and grab some food. Aw. Why don't you come and spell some words? Go. Come play with your toys. 
These are uh, Panda Sama toddler toys. Oh, actually, maybe not this one. This one is Panda Sama for sure. Not sure if this one is. But anyways, I like having, even though it's the same, I think they use the blocks and they just like make different meshes around the toys. But honestly, it's enough for me to make my toddler feel like it has more than just blocks to play with all day and all night. <laughs> the toddler itself doesn't know, but I feel like I know. So. Look at her, she's so cute. I love this, I gave her this little necklace on all her outfits. It's like got little, oh, little pink smiley faces. I thought maybe like Ivy would have made that necklace for her or something. Oh look, she's taking a little nap. She's very tired, so that's okay. Yeah, so I do think we're gonna start um, reading. Uh, sorry, writing. When we have the energy too. We'll write our first book. Maybe we can start by writing a book about our parents' love story because I think Gen 2, like part of what they're supposed to do is uh, they're supposed to be like, it's not that they, like they, they think their parents had this great romance and that they'll never live up to it. So that's why we're unflirty and stuff. So. So even though it's like this really lofty goal for us, maybe we can like write stories of it and write romance books and stuff. And maybe she just like represses her own romance so much. And so her outlet is by putting it into the romance novels. Because I don't know, those romance novels, they can be pretty unrealistic in terms of like what healthy relationships look like. So, so I don't know. I feel like the people that write them, it is like you're channeling all of the like these like very, I don't know, certain things I think, how, how do I explain what I'm thinking? I feel like, you know, certain dynamics are toxic, right? Like obviously having a partner that is very controlling is toxic, but at the same time, it can be flattering to a degree to have someone that does like get jealous and stuff. And you're like, okay, well, I mean, you're not jealous for healthy, like it's unhealthy for you that you're jealous like this. And obviously like I'm a responsible person and I'm, it, I'm not going to like betray you or anything, but you know, you have insecurities. And so like your jealousy becomes this like really like turns into like have, having a high need for control or whatever. But like sometimes like in a fantasy world, like a fantasy version, like that, controlling jealousy that's such a big trope in romance novels I find like there's an element of it that does like kind of feel feel nice but like in the real world it's not actually a healthy thing so I feel like sometimes like romance novels is where people channel all of those like unhealthy relationship dynamics that can kind of be romanticized but in the real world it that's not usually it's a sign of something toxic I don't know if that makes any sense what I'm saying but anyways <laughs> I just noticed that like romance books they tend to really really focus on these unhealthy signs of like relationships meaning somebody cares and so I kind of I like to think that because people realize that that's actually not a thing to aspire to have but there's still like a part of you that craves like having somebody being super clingy or something like that. So you try to find a healthy channel for it and you're like, hey, well, it'll still be like my fantasy, but you know, obviously it's not like reality. One hundred percent made sense and is accurate. Okay, Plucky, I'm glad you understand me because I'm like, I don't even know if I'm making sense, so. But yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what Ivy's going to do. Maybe we can even try to like come up with some fun romance novel titles. So she really needs to go to bed, but I'm keeping her up just because she needs to put her toddler to bed first. And Liliana's just pottying. All right, let's let's clean up the stinky potty. Um, Liliana can go put herself in bed and we'll just tuck her in. I do like Ivy to like actually tuck. I like my Sims to tuck their kids in to bed, even if they're not like putting them to bed, just because, you know, I just think it's sweet. And I feel like a parent wouldn't miss tucking their kids into bed. Not when they're this young. When kids are a bit older, you know, like 
it's a, it's a bit of a different story, but when they're young, I feel like if my Sim is a good parent, they're going to tuck their kids into bed. Or at least they're toddlers. Here, let's go tuck her in. So, there we go. Let's um, call Sprinkles to lie down in his bed. Come on, Sprinkles. Come lie down. We did our homework, right? Yeah, okay, good. Right, we did it at our mom's birthday party. All right, and then we're going to go to sleep. So what time is our class at normally? It's at 8 a.m. Okay, so we've got an early morning class. Eric has aged up into an adult. He's only an adult. <gasps> what? I didn't realize he was so young. Is that true? Because Sherry's been an adult for a while. How are they not the same age? Where is he on here? There he is. Adult. That was Sherry. How old is Sherry? I thought that they must both be an adult by now. Where's Sherry? Sherry. Oh, there she is. Mommy dearest, the best relationship and little discipline. Oh, but we have a strict fit. What? I'm so confused by this. Okay. Yeah, she's an adult. Oh, one thing that happened um, just naturally in game when I was playing off camera. You have 24 hours to pay your rent. Oopsies. I didn't realize our rent was overdue. Um, one thing that happened while we were playing off camera is we actually um, got a supportive family dynamic between Ivy and Liliana, which I thought was really, really cute. Um, so I did accept it. I felt like that made sense. But my Sims, I've never had Sims naturally get, they usually my Sims always get like a strict family dynamic immediately. Like they try to say, go on the potty to the toddler and immediately the game is like, you are strict parent. Is that okay? Does that make sense? And I'm like, no, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> He was just a week or so less than Sherry from my memory. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yes, we're going to send her to preschool today. Um, and poor Sherry was rapidly approaching elderhood. Yeah, I feel like something is off there. I'm sure that he must be, he must be older than that. Yeah, put her down. She's going to go to preschool. She'll be fine. Let's give her another outfit. She wore that one yesterday, I think, or... We'll give her this outfit today. We might need to go and like fix that. I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, Ivy's class is gonna start soon. Um, you getting herself something to eat? Yeah, okay, good, perfect. Yeah, we can eat and then go to class. Look at her go, she's like, mm. I'm gonna take myself to preschool then. Just walk, walk down all these stairs. Walk down two flights. Lock the door behind me and head off. <laughs> I think, what do you think? I think it's time for us to, I kept her hair quite short when we aged her up from an infant to a toddler. But for the way that I have my ages set up, I think my toddlers are from like ages two to six i believe maybe even seven so i think maybe we should grow her hair and give her a little bit of like an older kid look maybe if possible oh my gosh <laughs> she just got her umbrella out like that's what you got to do when you're a working woman i can't let my clothes get wet <laughs> get to the office and everyone's gonna wonder what happened to me they're gonna, I'm gonna look like a drowned rat <laughs> I just think it's so funny when toddlers just walk themselves out of the house and head off. <laughs> um, did you go to your class? Oh, okay, it's not it's not time yet. All right. Well, we may as well just like head down here though. So that we're not late. There. Just go here. Oh yeah, she's off. 
Perfect. So yeah, I think we're going to at least grow her hair out just to make it look like she is aging. And maybe we can change an outfit or two, although I feel like she has such cute outfits. And I've gone to see them because I've been playing off camera, but you all haven't. So um, so I think we're going to keep her outfits maybe a, a little bit longer. We can change like the dress or something that you've all seen today. <sighs> House is cute. I want to move eventually more families with kids in so that my kids will be able to like grow up with other kids. Oh, it's snowing. Harvest Fest is tomorrow. Okay. So one of the rules is that we are supposed to really enjoy holidays to the fullest. So we should probably get ready for Harvest Fest today. So we could have a nice, gorgeous celebration. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. And do lots of baking and lots of other stuff. I think my granny's recipes maybe are broken. I kept trying to bake, cook with them, and she kept thinking there was, like, no oven or something. So I think those are broken, potentially. So we'll have to use, like, the in-game food and everything, which is fine. But we'll figure that one out. Um, let's go fill the food. Here we go. Fill bowl. Don't worry about that. Get rid of this for you. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay. Um, but the other thing that we can do... Eric and I are now best friends. Okay. That's good. Um, so yeah. What we can do is we can get out the decorations box. See if I can find it. Yes, so this there. Um, where can we put it? I wish I could put it like inside a closet. I'll just put it out here for now because we've got like, first of all, way too many cat toys. They're kind of all over the house. So we can go digging for decorations in there. But the other thing that we can do is let's just search for Thanksgiving. Um, do I have my CC on? No. You're really telling me that I have no Thanksgiving objects? That's really surprising. Um, let's do fall. For fall stuff. Not that much. Okay, well this is a cute sign. It says, happy fall, y'all. Let's put this in the kitchen. I was noticing that the kitchen really doesn't have a lot of art. So we'll put this up here. Um, fall leaves candles. We can put that on the table. Maybe we can put another one like here. We never play video games. I don't even know why we have this, to be honest. I thought, I think it just looked cute with like the decoration, but not, I don't think that we're the kinds of like really gaming people. We can maybe get rid of some of this like more baby stuff because we don't plan on necessarily having a baby and then we can put some more like decoration -y stuff this will sell um Okay, well, all that too. Oh, that's where I was wondering where our coffee pot went. Um, is it because, okay, let's redo this. So we don't need this anymore because she's grown. So we can move, maybe move that up there. Um, same thing with this. We could get rid of the bottle. And 
then I want to put the coffee there because I do like us having the coffee. And then um, what else potentially that's babyish that we no longer need? He still plays with all these toys, so I think we'll keep all of that. Um, let me just search for holiday. Little Bobub had an update a while back that now requires you to also download Homestead Helper to make the cookbook function. Homestead Helper. Okay, it still works fine in my game. That's why I mention it. Homestead Helper. Homestead Helper. Okay, I'm going to have to look that one up. That sounds familiar to me, Homestead Helper. I feel like I tried to put it in my game, but I couldn't get it working. But it, it really does sound familiar. Oh, some pumpkins. Right, we'll put some pumpkins somewhere. Um, maybe we'll put the pumpkins on the coffee table. I actually think that I prefer these ones. But I don't want to get out too many of these decorations because we can get them for free out of that, like, box. So... Oh, that's pretty. Holiday fruit cake. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fireplace. Um, this is all. Oh, look at this. This is cool. The cornichon. Like, what is this called? It's not called cornichon, even in French. I don't know why I said that. What is this thing called? Like, this horn thingy? Oh, my goodness. There's a smaller... Oh, no, this is... um. Never mind. Okay. So we've got a few sort of decorations around the house. Oh, right. I don't have tool right now. Okay. Cornucopia. Yes, the cornucopia. That's cool. That is very fall. Um, let's rummage. And we'll take down the existing decorations. Uh... Cornucopia, that's a cool decoration. Let's see if she pulls out any other fall decorations. I think there's like garlands and things like that that potentially we can use. Maybe we can put some outside too. So we're doing all this while she's at preschool so that we can like give her an exciting fall Thanksgiving celebration when she comes home. Oh, look. What is this little gnome? <laughs> Let's go put some of this stuff outside too. We'll decorate for the neighbors. We'll put a gnome out like, ooh, by the mailboxes there. Cute. Um, and then this candle is really nice. Maybe, oh, I'll get rid of this bottle. Maybe we can replace the candle that is here. I'm actually going to put all this stuff away. Maybe we can put this here. I'm going to put that away too. There we go. Let's turn it a little. And then these pumpkins, let's put them like out by the front door. Somewhere. Um. Oh, okay. Well... They don't really want to be by the door. I'll put them. I'll put them here. There we go. Okay. Well, that's nice. Let's put this away. We'll pull it out again tomorrow so you can put some lights up and stuff. But, um, so we've gotten a few decorations out. Let's see if we can um, do a bit of baking. So our baking <laughs> class, which we failed, but it did get us to baking level two. What would be a good, like a pie, really? We would want to make a pie, I think. Let's make some oatmeal cookies. We might not have the skills to make pie yet. Oh my goodness, our dry skin. Our eczema is acting up. Let's put some lotion on. Uh -huh. 
there. Hopefully that will help. Yeah, there we go. So I finally put the preteen mod back in my game. I, I don't know when um, when it was updated, but when I checked this time, it was there. So I added it back in. But it does make your Sims get dry skin if they don't put lotion on. <laughs> and we have eczema on top of that. Pies are mostly undercooked. Yeah, I was wondering that, Plucky. I think... I think that we're going to make some pies too, but I do want us to do a little bit of baking because I do want us to get the baking scalp and then we're going to see if we can make a pie as well. We'll make a bunch of desserts today. And then I think for tomorrow, we should plan to have a bunch of people over. We don't have classes or anything, so. Um, let's add... A friendly hangout or a dinner party, I think, is what we want. Neighborhood potluck. <gasps> oh, maybe we should do like a potluck. Oh, that's with our neighbors, though. So maybe we should do that like on the weekend or something. Um, a family reunion we could do. Or a dinner party. Let's do a dinner party. So we'll host and we'll invite Aspen. Who's Allison? I don't know who that is. This is our old nanny, Daniel, but I think we're just going to stick it, stick with family. I wish that we knew some of our sister's partners and we could invite them to none name why do all my sims not have like real names name none name name surname <laughs> that's so funny um we could invite kaylee she's a neighbor we'll invite her i don't think i know anyone else um jen's is meadow's boyfriend but i don't think we're gonna invite jen's because she's like she cheats on him and stuff so <laughs> So yeah, we'll just stick to immediate family, I guess. We'll have it at our house and let's do it at uh two oh not AM, two PM. Here we go. We'll have family over tomorrow. We'll do a nice um family gathering. Have a nice Thanksgiving together. And we do have to be prepared to also celebrate a birthday and move. So I think let's keep playing. I know it's nine. Usually I would end the stream now, but let's keep going. Let's do our Thanksgiving celebration and then we'll end it afterwards so that we can save the birthday and um, moving for the next episode. So that's gonna be our plan. And then we'll finally graduate, hopefully. So give notice in writing. I want to see, can I check, um, can I check my lease again? How did I do that? I'm not too sure. Oh, look at our oatmeal cookies. Oh my gosh. She just likes <laughs> put them sideways in the sink. All right, let's decorate them as well. Make them look all nice and cute. And we'll put it away. And then we'll see if we can make a pie as well. They don't have um, apple pie in the game, do they? Wally surprise. Wally, Wally. Apple pie. Oh my gosh, they do. All right, let's make an apple pie. Perfect. <laughs> I was thinking they didn't have one, but they do. That's great. I love it gonna do a quick save so so yeah i think that's the plan we'll do our thanksgiving with our family we'll say hi to everyone maybe we'll just like check on eric's age see what's going on there and then um next time which will be tuesday so it's the 13th today what's what's tuesday next week oh my phone died i don't know um i can't see the calendar there okay 
I don't know, my an- agenda anywhere. Anyways, it's Wednesday today. So Tuesday next week, we'll play, um, we'll celebrate a birthday. We'll celebrate Liliana aging up into a child. And then we will also move into a bigger apartment. And that will be the next stream. So depending on how things go on Tuesday, we'll either decorate the new apartment or maybe we'll reserve a the Thursday stream to decorate the apartment. So I think that's going to be our plan, which I'm very excited for. Oh, our countertop got a little bit dirty. Yo, Kabina. Look at our one sign. <laughs> one sign that it's fall. No, we've got a few other decorations. We don't have that many, though, but there's actually not as many fall decorations as I thought. Perfectionist. Ivy has been quite a perfectionist lately. I, lately. Ivy thinks things should be done with high skill and lots of focus. Sure, you can be an, a perfectionist if you want. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's sideways again. Let's go ahead and clean up that countertop. There we go. Come on, clean. Um, oh, sorry, clean. Can we tell the cat not to jump on the counter? I feel like that's usually an option, but I'm not getting it. Alrighty then. That is the way it has to be then that's fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and start writing. Um, write genre book. Can we, oh my gosh, we have a lot of writing skill already. Can we do romance? I don't see romance. All right, let's do a children's book. Children's book tend to sell quite well, I think. So we'll start there. Maybe we can write a book for Liliana. Um, Not all princesses live. Wait. Okay, what? So Liliana, we haven't, you know, she's too young to really maybe understand that, like, we're not her bio mom. And that, you know, the situation with which, you know, the situation where she came from is probably quite complicated. So maybe we could write a little bit of a story, not about her directly, but uh, just, you know, a story about like a, a girl or a princess or something whose mom was not able to keep her. She was raised, you know, elsewhere, but it didn't make her be any less of a princess or something like that. So eventually, like this could be like the story we tell her every night. And then eventually when we do kind of start talking to her about the fact that like, I, I think it's important to be honest with kids. And so, we t like, we wouldn't keep it a secret necessarily, um, especially if we do adopt other kids too. So this just, like, makes her, you know, unique and makes her have a, a more exciting story. So we can be like, just like, you know, that princess in the story we always used to tell you or something. So I kind of want to write her, like, a princess story that is reflective of, like, her life. But I don't know what to call it. Um, not all princesses are born in castles, but every princess's unique story, every princess's unique story makes, every princess's story is unique. I like that plucky candy. I love you so much. I chose, I I loved you so much. I chose you. I like that's that's a cute name. That's a really good one, plucky. All right, let's do that. I loved you so much. I chose you. Not all princes are born in castles, but every princess story is unique. I don't know. The description is whatever, but I really like that that name, plucky. So that was a really good suggestion. Thank you. Plucky, we're gonna go with that one. So we'll let her, oh, and speaking of, Liliana is home. So why don't we, oh, she's so cute. Let's jump into Cass and just give her slightly longer hair. We have to keep in mind, like she's like turning, I think it's like seven. I have, I have like seven or something in my game. So 
Um, so we definitely want her to look older from when, like, she was first born. So she should have, like, maybe longer hair. Oh, she could have very long hair. Maybe that's a little too long. She's also Aspen's kid. Aspen had, like, straighter hair, so she'd probably also have straighter hair. But also, I feel like Ivy would do something like this. I actually really like that. Ivy would, like, put her hair in pigtails and dress her up all cute and girly. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I just had a little sneeze. We probably don't need too many outfits. That'll give her like one or two. Thank you. I like the piggy braids too. Yeah, these are so cute. And I definitely could see Ivy doing her hair like this. And like taking the time to do her hair every day too, you know? Every day for school. I'm also just, it's a little bit like colder. So I'm going to dress her a little bit warmer because we know now that it's like fall in game. Um, maybe some little pink jeans are fine. Prince. There we go. That's one outfit. <gasps> We haven't seen her wear this yet, and that's so cute. See, like, she has so many cute outfits. This is fine. That's folly. She can keep it even though we saw her wear it. Um, I'll just change this top into a sweater, like a long sleeve shirt. Mouse got stuck there. Fun together. There we go. And then um, this will change as well. Okay, I think that's good. Formal, oh, we never got to see her wear her formal outfit. It's so cute. Maybe we can have her wear formal tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that because she's no longer a baby. This is like a bigger kid. EJ wear, this is her party wear. Her party wear is still cute. Um, swimwear, we're not gonna see her swim. Um, these. this is good except for this doesn't fit with the hair so maybe I'll just take it off go <laughs> he's so cute we see her hair again Maybe I can do like 
a couple where her hair is out. One. Oh, so cute, so cute. Uh, that's what her hair was before. Her hair and the pigtails. Were. Ah, there we go. Okay, she's got like three different hairstyles. I think that's good. We're only going to see like one, maybe two. But I'm still excited. Oh, wait, they've got it, like, without the bangs, and really, she doesn't have bangs so much, does she? Hey, hang on. Sorry. I, I need this for accuracy's sake. There we go. And then there's one down, there's... There, because she doesn't really have bangs. So I'm just adjusting her accuracy here. I kind of like the bangs with the hat, though. But she doesn't have bangs. Okay, okay, that's enough. All right, that's good. <laughs> Sorry, I get really into my Sims hair. There we go. But now that she has long hair, it does look like she does look older. I think I actually also usually change their bodies too. And I have like a toddler body and a like toddler body preset and then a not toddler body preset, which I completely forgot. But anyways... I haven't done that, so. Uh, are you writing your book? <laughs> to me, it looks like, no. Resume writing. <laughs> bueno, bueno. And then I saw lottery tickets, so we'll purchase one of those. <laughs> and, oh, did we pay our rent? I don't think we did. Um, we'll probably have to come downstairs. Uh, Liliana's letting herself into the house. Great. Uh, did we pay our bills? I don't see bills. But I guess we did. I must have missed it. <gasps> Look, oh my gosh, she has so much hair, actually. She's like... <laughs> she's got almost, like, her hair is almost as tall as she is. But look at how cute she is, though. Aww. You're the same? <laughs> Good, I'm glad I'm not alone. I spent so much time looking for infant hair because there's still, I feel like, not, like, there's, I found lots, but I need it all to be, like, a baby in its first year of life doesn't have a lot of hair. So I want a lot of variety, but I want it all to be, like, the amount of hair a baby would have in that first year, which is really difficult to find. So, because there's, like, some beautiful hairs, but... I like it to be somewhat realistic. And then I like to make my toddlers then have the same hair, but like maybe a little bit more of it. And then as they're a toddler, I like the hair to grow just to kind of show at what point they are. Because the way I actually calculated, like I did math and stuff to try and figure out what made sense to me age-wise when they came out with the milestones. And based on the milestones and everything like that, when we got the infant life stage, so to me, toddlers actually go to like young child age, even though they crawl up the stairs, like 
the aloe is on Google and Pinterest, <laughs> right? Exactly. But yeah, to me now, like toddlers, they're like young children as well, to a degree, especially when they start walking like this without stumbling every two steps, like they're children now, you know, five, six years old. I feel like there's no six years old in my game. They're five and then all of a sudden they're like eight. Look, she's so cute. Maybe one day I'll make like a mod. If I ever, I've been doing a little bit of like modding, but not for Sims, but I've been kind of like learning a little bit. And I, I now that I'm doing it for another game where uh, I feel like I could do it in Sims. And so maybe I will develop a mod where I can have that in between toddler and kid age. It's just like a very short period of life, but I feel like it is missing. <laughs> Soon I'll have like a stage for like every year of a Sims life. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I would be okay if we had a birthday for them every year and then they like develop something new at every year. Juniper. What's up, sis? Want to see this new Instagram meme I found? I thought it was pretty funny. What do you think? LOL, genius. Um, okay, we're going to have to go tell her not to play in the toilet. Again. Parenting. Um, ask not to splash in the toilet. We've got a lot of um, reward points. That is icky. Please do not do that. Thank you. We're flirty all the time. This is why we need to write romance novels. What game are you modding for? I've been doing a little bit of modding for Skyrim. So I don't know if you've ever played that game. But I started playing it over the summer. And I turned out that it's very easy to mod and there's a lot of different stuff out there for it. And now I'm like also creating my own armor mashups and stuff like that. So I can have like beautiful like princess dresses and everything in there. And it's a lot of fun and it's been good learning. So I don't know why for some reason. Because I think Sims has like overall, who are you? Aurelio Thomas. No, I don't think so. Um, I think because Sims has like a bigger community, I think. There's like generally more Simmers out there than like maybe Skyrim players. And I also think like people who play Skyrim play lots, like usually play other games too. Not necessarily lots, but they play other games. Whereas Simmers, of course, there are Simmers that play other games. But there's people who just Sim, which is like really what I considered myself. And so, you know, I thought it, like, to me, though, modding for Sims seems so intimidating. Like, I was just like, I don't know how people do it. Like, it looks impossible. But for whatever reason, there's, like, a lot of support out there for modding in Skyrim. Or maybe I've just seen it. Because I think it's such an old game, but people are still playing it. So people are really working together to make sure that you can still, like, play the game the way you want to play it or something. Like, make sure it can still be supported. So I don't know if that's why. Maybe there's, like, a lot more openness as to how people do these things and make changes in the game. No, but I have watched people play. Oh, I really enjoy it. Um, I, I don't know why I like it so much. It does make me wonder if I should try other games. Like, my sister's favorite game is The Witcher. And I do think, like, people who like, like, I think they're similar games, but I just feel like none of them will be the same. But maybe it's because I've played Sims my whole life and I haven't really strayed from Sims. And I'm like, there's no game like Sims. Like, nothing could compare. This is the best game in the world. And then when I eventually, like, after, I don't know, 10 years, try another game, I'm like, hey, this is actually fun, too. <laughs> so maybe I should just start trying other games. But I'm always like, no. I, I have my one game and no other game is like it and it's the best game and every other game is just is just not good. <laughs> That's like what's in my head. <laughs> Plucky, you're the same. 
I'm like, there's no way. There's no way that any other game... This one is so good. Like, it just can't be topped. It's impossible. But then I try another game like, oh, this is fun. Actually, I really like this. <laughs> so, so maybe one day I'll introduce a third game to my universe. And I'll be like, all about that game too. So. But if you've watched people play, like, see, I had never watched people play until one simmer played it and i think i still i bought i had bought the game or something because it was you know steam has these sales and they're like steam has a really good sale sometimes so i bought it at some time when it was like two dollars or it was like it was basically free so i just got it because i had heard of it and like i have witcher like i have that game too i did the same thing i bought it when it was on sale and I've never played it. And I had Skyrim for a long time. And then I saw that a Simmer that I liked had played it at some point. I didn't watch them play it. But one day I just decided to try it. And I was like, oh, this actually is kind of fun. <laughs> and then I decided to go watch them play it. And I saw that their game looked completely different from mine. And they had like these love interests that they had added to the game and everything that... I didn't have in my game, so I started like looking for all these mods, and then it just like it be it it escalated. <laughs> Sims is my special interest, but watch out someday if I buy a console, all bets are off. My heart's drive is bursting with just Sims. Plucky, I feel you. I actually so my computer's organs are outside of its shell right now. This is my one terabyte drive. And because in my old computer, my main drive was small. It was like a 240 gig or something like that, which, you know, is fine for the average person. But I'm a simmer that likes to mod, play with mods. So this is not fine for me. It was very little space. So I had also this one terabyte drive in there, which I put my mods on. But then I put so many mods in that that was full, so I got a six terabyte drive and I added it to my old PC. <laughs> and it was just spiraling and spiraling because I, then I was playing Skyrim and I was playing Skyrim with mods and then I started like building my own armors and stuff. So I had these big like graphics files and stuff like that. And um, so now in this computer, I can't fit all my drives in it. So I'm having to move everything over. I have a bigger SSD card now and I have room for more SSD. So I can get the six terabyte in there and that's actually enough space for me right now. But um, I'm gonna like, I'm having to move everything over from the one terabyte. So that's why it's like living outside of my computer. The smoke just billowing out of that poor machine. <laughs> I know, I know. I People always say like, well, you know, you don't really need that much space anymore. Like there's the cloud and you can like put things in Google and everything. And yeah, like my I, I have all my like pictures and documents and stuff like in, in Google Drive. I don't save those on my computer, but you don't understand. I play Sims. <laughs> like I need a lot of room. So, <laughs> so my because my sister when she's doing you know she's like people don't have these drives anymore like they're outdated because people don't need that much space and i was like what do you mean they don't need space i'm like i can't fit i couldn't play any other games because i didn't have room for them on my old computer because everything was full of mods <laughs> like, <laughs> and a sweet graphics card <laughs> yeah luckily for sims you don't need like a high-end graphics card so that is the one thing that I'm glad for. So I like I've upgraded now and I see the difference, of course. And I upgraded my monitor because I had a really bad monitor. I didn't really realize that it was really bad. Um, so I do see the difference. But like I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't give me the new stuff. If I had just kept playing on my old PC, I would have thought my graphics were great. I wouldn't have noticed the difference. Now that I have this, my sister's like, I'm so excited for you to see how much better it's going to be. Like, it, like, it's so bad. What My sister's really into computers and gaming. Like, she's a true gamer. I'm just like a simmer, you know? 
But um, like she's like, I don't know, high level Valorant player or something like that. I don't really like like because they they're ranked and stuff. Um, I would say I'm a high level simmer, <laughs> but uh, I think it's like a whole different world. So. So, yeah, I didn't really notice, but now I see it. Now I see it. And when you add reshade and lighting, you kind of do snappy. Yeah, it's true. I I did load a lot onto the other game and it did I did get lag and it took me I would have to start sims and walk away because it would take like half an hour to load but also because I had my mods on a separate drive from the game now it takes like like I think it load the whole game loads in under a minute which I'm just like shocked I didn't think that was possible with mods so I'm seeing a difference I see why people get better pcs <laughs> I didn't believe that it would be this much better. <laughs> I I truly thought, well, I play with too many mods, so the game's always going to be slow and it's always going to lag. But it's worth it for the mods. I am getting last exceptions, though. That's not so good. But actually, it does make a difference. And you can feel the difference. So, yeah. And I'm so glad I got my old reshade working because I really do think now, like we're playing peak, like this is very, this is very peak. We're very spoiled. When I finally get all of my computer's innards installed inside of it, I'll be very excited. <laughs> and I reformat my drives and everything so that they're actually working properly. Because that's another thing. I kind of like somehow, I don't know how I did this. And my sister didn't believe me when I told her. But then she saw my PC and, she, and she's like, okay, that is actually ha what happened. So because I, you, when you, your documents and your pictures, like your, your Windows folder, documents folder and your Windows pictures folder is, is like a specific folder. So you can create another documents folder. But you only have one Windows documents folder for your whole PC. And so because our mods for Sims are in the documents folder, I moved my documents folder to another drive. And when I was trying to save space, I had all my Sims pictures that would I'd always be taking on one drive. And sometimes like I would clear them out, but like I wouldn't do it regularly. So I decided to move that to my six terabyte drive when I got it. Uh, just so, you know, it was off of my other two drives and I had more room for mods and everything. It was just like one less thing. But somehow, because you have to move it within the PC, you can't just like copy paste the file over. So you have to like go into the folder and move it. Somehow I formatted my whole six terabyte drive as the pictures drive. So I have to fix that because it's causing me a lot of issues now. <laughs> Because I can't put pictures anywhere else on my computer. Like I, I can't even have pictures in a folder name or else my whole computer freaks out. So, and it eats the folder. The folder just disappears with my files. So anyways, I'm trying to fix that. Oh, the gnomes. Right, because it's Thanksgiving. Sims giving. Let's appease. Okay, Panther Girls knows what you're supposed to give each of these and I don't. So... Let's see if we can guess. I like still, I still like trying to guess. So what is this? He's like a, what is he? An alien? He's an alien. So I'm going to give him a future cube. Let's see if that's the right thing. Is it? Okay, good. Uh, we're not going to go to preschool today. It's a holiday. And we have family coming. Let's come use the toilet. What is she doing? Oh, no, no, no. Don't go to preschool. Yes, leave. We're not going to preschool today. Just reset her. Come back upstairs. Um, She can't do anything because she's a toddler. Okay. What are... No, don't go play in the toilet. No. Ah, we need a bathtub. This poor child, she has to play in the toilet. It's the only way she can play in water. Like, I don't know how many times I have to tell you. The toilet is not a toy. She's 
Jimmy. Oh. Okay. I'm going to get our um, box out. And actually, I'm going to sell this gnome too. May as well. Um, and let's put up some Harvest Fest decorations. There we go. We will feed our cat. I recently moved my Sims game from one internal drive to another internal drive, and it was supposed to be so easy. Well, it took me an entire day. <laughs> yeah. They make it look so easy when you look up those tutorials online, but they're never as easy as they say. But it's what you got to do to get all the mods in. Okay, I'm going to change her outfit because we we watched her in this one yesterday. Let's put her in this one because I thought this outfit was cute. I didn't really get to see it. And it's still warm. So, you know, it's okay that we're wearing a warmer outfit. Aww. I love her hair. It's so cute. I just realized that we're, like, I kind of thought, for whatever reason, I didn't really realize we were different colors of, like, brunette. I just kind of assumed that we had the same... Brown color, but that makes sense because Aspen had a lighter brown color and she's got like her biological mom's hair. Oh, now that we've adopted her, I don't think we're ever going to remember who her biological dad is. I just realized that we never met him. Like we never actually figured out his story, but he had a wife and he had kids and everything. And um, like, it's not like he would want to. I wanted to let you know that Rebecca and I broke up. Oh no, Ivy, you broke up with your girlfriend, your fiance. They weren't just girlfriend, girlfriend. They were actually engaged. Oh, Juniper, let's invite her over. Maybe we can chat with her before the whole family comes over. All right, let's... um out that's so sad i heard recently that if you have a lot of in-game pictures and screen screenshots it can really slow down your pc's performance too that save has to load up all of those pictures every time you load it as well oh yeah there's a few cache files that you can delete out of your um game folder if your uh your game is really really slow um, so, but I, I tend, oh my gosh, it's power conservation day. Oh, I need to repeal this because we need to make a turkey. I meant to repeal this over the weekend. I might have to cheat this because we're having our family over for Thanksgiving. We can't have power conservation on. Sorry. I just realized this. I have to remember how to cheat it though. I don't know if I remember. It's probably in here maybe. Um, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I, I do know too, though, like there is, I, so I use reshade to take my photos. So all of my pictures like go to a separate folder, but the actual in-game photos of my Sims pictures, I don't know where those are saved on my PC. So I have wondered about that before and if there's a folder and I should be deleting them. But also there's a few cache files too that you can delete and those will help speed up your game. And some of them are thumbnails. So, so the first time you load up your game, it might be a bit slower because it will be loading up like your Sims icons and stuff. But if you're constantly switching saves or going on the gallery and stuff, it will have a cache of all of those icons loaded. And so you can delete those and it does speed up your game for sure. <gasps> Hello, Lynn, how are you doing? Aw, look at your teddy emojis. They're so cute. Okay, I need to figure out 
how I can cheat the neighborhood action plans. I know that there's a way I can do it. This. Instant repeal neighborhood action plan. Here, let's repeal that. There we go. Figured it out. <laughs> um, check the bio mom's contacts or known people. Maybe she still knows them. That way you can keep note of the name. Yeah, I, I'll have to do that. Or um, also I can go maybe back to the VOD where we found out. I might need to do that too because I don't even know if she like, it was really weird. She wasn't supposed to have um, a baby at all. Oh, we're eating one of our oatmeal cookies. Uh, let's get out the fruit salad. So we can like call everyone to the meal. Um, sorry, I'm late. I didn't realize you were live until I saw it. No worries, Lynn. So um, I know that I have not been live the last few days and that's because, or last few weeks, and that's because um, I have a new PC. So we are streaming from it for the first time today. And I only was able to test my Sims game and make sure everything was running properly yesterday. So it was a very last minute decision to go live. But I have my new PC and so hopefully I'll get back into a consistent schedule. But for next week, um, I'm actually streaming on Tuesday and Thursday next week at 7 p.m. So I'll make sure to update my Twitch schedule. I don't know if that's going to be weekly just yet, but I do want to make up for some of the um, streams that I've missed. Oh, will she not potty in front of uh, Juniper? <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Except it's kind of annoying because she needs to potty, but I didn't realize that she would not potty in front of her aunt. Um, so yeah, we're playing. It's Thanksgiving today, so it's our last day. Asked to be Juniper Sim of Honor. Oh, we shouldn't ask. She just told us that she broke up with her fiance. Let's compliment her outfit. There we go. Um, I'll just do this for her since she won't go potty in front of her aunt. Uh, tummy hurts from disease. Liliana's tummy doesn't feel very good. <gasps> Wait, what disease does she have? Feeling feverish. Lillian is hot, like super hot and not in that good ready for her close-up kind of way. Oh no, she's not feeling good. Why don't you go take a little nap? You aren't feeling well. So, but yes, Lynn, we are playing with our whimsy stories. Um, and we are going to be doing two streams next week. And that's going to include Liliana's birthday where she'll age up into a child. As well as we're probably going to be moving into a new place so that we have space for everybody. So, but for today, we are just working on throwing a Thanksgiving party with our family. Let's go quickly and send a thank you card. Um, who can we send it to? Let's send it to Daniel. He was our babysitter growing up. We'll go send him that thank you card. And um, and then we're going to come upstairs. We're going to cook a turkey. And we have Juniper over because Juniper texted that she broke up with her fiance. So we're just kind of having her over to see how she's doing. Um, okay. Oakley. Liliana's apparently got some kind of a disease, which is not good. So... I don't know if we're going to need to take her to the doctor. But let's come. Okay, I need I need the cat to not be on the counter so that I can cook. Oh, Meadow's calling. Hi, we some of the family are getting together for a family barbecue at the park. This I planned a whole Thanksgiving meal that the whole family is invited to this afternoon. What do you mean you're all going to the park? 
Like I'm I'm just putting the turkey in the oven right now. I'm going to give her another outfit because she's been wearing this one every day. I'm putting the turkey in the oven literally right now and you're telling me that nobody's coming. You're all going to the park. <laughs> like we planned this event in advance too. So like, yeah. There's no excuse. Cat's like, what? What am I doing wrong? All right, let's make a nice classic turkey dinner for everybody. Hopefully the cat gets down so we can cook it. Excuse me, sparkles. Thank you. There we go. Woohoo! I really like um this window in the kitchen. Like, this is one of the best windows in the house. It's too bad it's kind of like in this little alley kitchen. Because I was thinking about this. Like, this apartment is actually quite dark. That's one of the things I don't like. Like, it's very cozy, which is sweet. We've got our fall, by the way. Our one fall picture. But, like, like this would all be very dark. Because this um, window is, like, too high. You wouldn't be able to see it. It's, like, really, really high up. So it's got a cute view though. But yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to see it. It's too high. And then there's no windows here. The only other window is this one in the bedroom, which is a nice window. But it is a little bit sad that like, hey, yo, I was wondering if you want to go hit the spa with me. Let's meet up in an hour. I'm good. You go, everyone wants to do something. It's because everyone has the day off because <laughs> it's a holiday. That's funny. When plans want to be made, but other plans have already been made. I know. So rude of our family, though. Like, we're putting so much work into this. This is our first time hosting a Thanksgiving meal. And, like, doing, like, our mom, you know, she would always do all the cooking and stuff. Well, actually, I think Ivy did a lot of cooking growing up. But before Ivy, um, it was our mom, Sherry. She did all the cooking for everybody. And, like, we're probably so excited, you know, like, we're we're young, we're living on our own, and it's our first time hosting our whole family, and then they're all going to the park. And they, you know, they're like, oh, maybe we should invite, you know, maybe we should invite Ivy, who's, who's currently slaving away in the kitchen, trying to, like, throw this wonderful dinner party for us. <laughs> Anyways. Why can't I get any coffee from there? Also, I love how we just keep putting everything like that on the counter. Okay, so let's see. Get out our pie. We'll get out our cookies also. Can we decorate the pie at all? I don't think so. No. Okay. Um, so everything is ready. And I believe, did we say two? Yeah, two. So yeah, everyone's about to arrive. So that's perfect. Let's start. Perfect. Dinner party. We've got lots of great food. Um, oh, and we dressed in our party wear. What kind of music is playing? Let's put on some... mixed music I don't know what that is but we'll put that on why are we sad boogie downer if the dancing doesn't soon cease the tears might soon release oh, tired from dancing oh my goodness another gnome what kind of gnome is this um oh this was the gnome that was in our garden I don't know if this one has like a specific thing to appease it but where is our family oh Okay, somebody is here. That is, oh, right, I forgot. We have this nice outdoor space. Let's go celebrate outside. We did this for the birthday party. Let's do it for um, the Thanksgiving as well. So we'll bring all the food outside. There we go, some cookies, our pie. And what did we do? I think we brought like, we brought music. Watch Sky with Kaylee. We brought the music outside last time. And we brought the game that we have outside, which I think is in Ivy's inventory. So we'll bring this out here. I'll just put it up here. I want it to be in the rain. 
here. And then um, let's bring out bring out some pumpkins to decorate. Sure, like that, that's fine. Those are our pumpkins though, so we better remember to bring them inside. And then um, I don't think we need much more than that. Maybe we can do like a nice bonfire or something. So I'm going to teleport everybody out here. Teleport. Teleport. And then where is Maple? Oh, there's everybody. Here we go. <laughs> Look, they all came over from the park. How nice of them. Let's. Uh, actions form group and we'll put everybody in a group. Oh, okay. Kelly's not in the group, but that's okay. Let's go here. There we go. Why don't you come and talk to this bunny? <gasps> Maybe she can make friends with the first neighborhood a rabbit. Oh no, the rabbit hates her. He wants to box her already. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Oh. Ivy's afraid of fire and can't light a fire. Oh no, did the rabbit bite her? Oh no, now she's scared of rabbits. Okay, well, just keep chatting. All right, the family is all here. Um, let's go ahead and call to meal. All right, everyone, I'm grab some turkey. Look, Eric's looking real cash. Of course, he's like just aged up into an adult, which we learned. I do want to know how old he actually is because, um, oh, I'm going to do that for her because her potty's too far away. Perfect. Um, why don't you have some pie? Oh, look, some of the neighbors are coming as well. Oh, that's Maple. Oh, my gosh. Maple is a child now. Oh, who does she look more like? She kind of looks like Ivy, actually. Okay, let me just do a quick save, and then we're going to give her, like, a two-second makeover, like a really, really fast one. Just because I want to see what she looks like. She kind of looks like Ivy. I'll take off some of the, like, weirder CC. Because I feel like her hair has changed color too. So we'll give her back her, her hair color. Yanubu. <laughs> Yanubu. Yeah, she kind of looks like Ivy. I feel like her chin's a little. Oh. I think. Um, hair. What's going on with her hair? There's something weird going on with her hair. This. Give her some eyelids. Um... Oh yeah, we'll keep that. Um, something is weird here. Keep that. Those are her freckles, she'll keep those.
Keep those. Something is on her hair. I just don't know what it is. Not a hat, so is it like an accessory? What's going on with her? This dress is fine. Yeah, something is on her hair. I just don't know what. Try tattoos or face paint. Okay, I will check. Give her some like more realistic looking blue eyes. Um. Oh no, that was her eyes. Uh, sorry. There's got to be something I'm missing in her skin details. So let me just check each of these. Okay. There we go. Whatever it was, it was on this layer. Okay. Well, we figured it out. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, that was like a pretty, I have no idea what that was. Whatever it is, I should probably think about trying to remove it from my game one day when I figure it out. Give her these lashes for now because I still need to fix my lashes. Okay. So, but anyways, this is fine. I kind of gave her a bow because she had a bow as a toddler. I feel like her head's really big for her body, but... Um, and her lips are also really big, actually. Maybe I'll just make these a little small. Well, it's just a bit smaller. I think, like, it's because they get, like, Eric's, um, features. And Eric does have big features, but they just, like, they look a little too much on, on a kid, you know? Like, her, sh her sharp cheekbones are also, like, super sharp. There, like her, we might need to, to like make it a little bigger once she gets like older, but okay, we can do that fairly easily. For some little cute little outfitties. Um sure she can wear very, very red. 
Uh, that's a fine. I'll just give her some simpler shoes. He's fine. Aw, little sister. Yeah, it's her little sister. Um, Oh, what happened to those jeans? Those are some of my favorite jeans usually for kids, but something is missing. Okay, there we go. Maybe I will change her hair. I'm trying to remember, did she have curly hair like, like her mom? Well, I think a lot, like, they're likely to have curly hair because both their parents have curly hair. Oh, that's Ivy's hair. Maybe we'll give her this one. I wish to like, want to like soften this a little because it's like a little bit like, I don't know. I mean, it'll be good when she's an adult, but you don't really see kids with like super cut jaws like this, you know? Make it look more natural. Need like her whole cheeks just to be a little bit like puffier. There. You can bring them in when she's um when she's a little bit older. There we go. Okay, I feel like that looks like just a little bit more natural. She still kind of looks like an adult to me, but Okay, we'll leave it. I'm gonna stop fiddling with her. I do think her like, <laughs> as I fiddle more, I do think her pupils need to be a little bit. There we go. They're so big. You know, I got some new lip presets. Can I find them? Maybe I can give her one of my new lip ones. My new lippies. No. Mm, no. No good. <gasps> Where are my new lippies? Oh, I think they're these ones actually. You know what? Her lips are fine. <laughs> Those presets were wild and a little too much. Those lips are perfect. We have no problems with them. 
All right. Well, Maple is a child now, and that makes sense because she was just a little bit older than Liliana. So they're going to be like basically growing up together, even though they probably live kind of a little bit far away from each other. But, you know, oh, everyone decided to come upstairs, I guess. Um, well, but the party is, hey, Mowgli, what are you doing? All right, Mowgli's like really wilding tonight. Okay, Eric, why don't you come and light a fire? Because everyone else is too scared to. Um, you're hungry, so you should probably like uh, grab a serving. She's sad because her birthday was forgotten. <laughs> it wasn't forgotten. Don't worry. <laughs> we just weren't there to celebrate. I'm sure your parents did something for you. Come and um, come and grab some turkey as well. We're gonna play a little bit from. We'll finish Thanksgiving off from this perspective. So, but poor thing. She thinks her birthday was forgotten. That would be sad. I understand. Always sad for your birthday to be forgotten. But come on down. Come down with your parents. Let's check out this age situation between um, the parents, though. So she's got 28 days to age up. Eric himself, where are we at? 94 days away. Sherry is like, what? Oh, yeah. She's five days away from being an elder, and he has 96 days? I don't think so. He's not that much younger than her. That'd be like, he's like, he's still like 40, and she's like almost 70. I don't think so. So... We're going to need to adjust this. I think add to the current age progress. So she's. Let's just add. Let's add like 85. Let's add 80 days. He can be a little bit younger than her. Ah. 14 days until an elder. And she's five days. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense to me. <laughs> Reluctantly hosting from Bad Mannered Visitor. Playing host. Wait, what was that? How tender. Sherry and Eric seem to care for each other, both as lovers and friends. Romantic partners with the wholesome romantic dynamic. Choose to perform romantic, friendly, or funny interactions with each other more often and hold a meaningful place in each other's hearts. Would you describe the dynamic between Sherry and Eric as being wholesome? Yes, of course it is. They're a very wholesome couple. We love these two. So, but yeah, that makes a lot more sense, I think. And we have, like, we've been aging. Oh, ignore the lashes again. We've been aging Eric. Like, he has some wrinkles. Sherry's got some, like, smile lines. Her hair is supposed to be salt and pepper colored. I thought I had given Eric salt and pepper color hair. Maybe I just did it for his beard. I think his beard was supposed to have some gray in it. So, but anyways, they are, you know, getting up there. In years. Look at these two. They actually do look a lot alike, I think. I see the similarities similarities between these two. So, you never know. We might end up with uh, Maple at some point. Because, of course, you know, Sherry and Eric, they're not going to be around forever. They're going to... Oh, oh, what happened to Sherry's heart? Oh, no. She gave it to Eric. She gave her whole heart and her left boob. Um, and then this is our neighbor. This is Kaylee. Oh, Eric's already like best friends with her. So, but anyways, this is cute. Oh, look, look. Let's chat with our only granddaughter. She's still our only granddaughter. I don't really see like, I don't see the other kids having. Oh my gosh, we're missing a heart and a boob here too. <laughs> What's going on? So very strange. But I definitely see that... Um, oh no, the fire's going down. What was I going to say? Add a log. Burn money. Right, because they have so much money. No, we're not going to do that. Our kids need that money. If we ever get an inheritance, then that will help us to buy this house. You know what I mean? But, um... So cute. Yeah, but anyways. Sharon and Eric, they're not going to be around forever. Maple is still a child. She's got a ways to go. I, you know, I think they'll still be here. Like, I think I do have it so that my elders are are around for quite a while 
share in the Liana or jokester, sure. Um, so, but you know, potentially by the time she's a teen, she might need like she might need a home. She, she might not like I don't know if her parents because even though they're still alive, you know, when you get older, there's other issues that crop up, health issues. Alzheimer's, Sharon, Eric, they might just like kind of want to have like a few years just relaxing or traveling because we know how much they love to travel. So they might be going on cruises all the time or something as, as you know, I feel like they would do just given that they have all this money. Oh, new romance dynamic strained. Ouch. Eric and Sherry seem to have hit a rough patch in their romance. Romantic partners with strained romantic dynamic will gravitate towards mean socials more often. As a result of tension they're currently facing, luckily they'll still be able to work on their dynamic to fix things when the time comes. What is this? Oh my goodness. I mean, he did just get flirted with like right in front of Sherry. I don't think he loved it, but he also didn't really like turn it down. So I feel like that's giving Sherry a bit of a hard time. Non-physical romance will trigger jealousy. Eric has learned Sherry's romantic boundaries. Non-physical romance will trigger jealousy. Physical romance, excluding woohoo, will trigger jealousy. Woohoo will trigger je Oh. Okay, so, yeah. Sherry is open to reconsidering romantic boundaries. Let's view this lesson. This is the new pack. See, I don't know this pack at all. Sims must learn each other's romantic boundaries by asking. Select another sim, choose the relationship category, then learn more category, and finally choose ask romantic boundaries. Once a sim agrees to share this, sorry, their reply will appear as a text notification. Their romantic boundaries will also be recorded in their sim profile page. If a sim is exploring romantic boundaries, they may reconsider if asked by another sim. Select another sim, choose the relationship category, then choose the change relationship subcategory. Find the ask to reconsider romantic boundaries category in this category. There are social interactions that sims can use to ask another sim to reconsider specific boundaries. If a sim is not exploring romantic boundaries, they cannot be asked to reconsider. Learn more about setting up your sim's romantic boundaries and lessons under create a sim, identity and personality, and romantic boundaries. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of new cast stuff that I haven't even looked at because I'm so behind on sims. Um, so I think what we're going to do with Eric is we're going to try to... Uh, woo no. Can we like turn her down or something? Or it probably, would it be like under mean? It's probably under mean. Like you're, you seem like a nice girl and everything, but like we're almost a, an, uh, a senior. Okay, maybe it's not mean. How do I just? Hang on, sorry, I'm looking at all of this stuff. How do I turn it down? Can I like say? I did not expect this. Hang on. Press. Your personality quirks. Okay, well, whatever. We're just going to talk her, talk to her about our hobbies. Eric and Sherry have a strong romantic relationship and will now each have independent romantic satisfaction levels. High romance satisfaction will make maintaining romantic relationships easier and low... Satisfaction will make maintaining relationships more difficult. Search the pie menu is a lot. Yeah, I tried to add that mod, but it, I clearly don't have it working. I need to find that one. Change into nude. All right, well, if we can't turn her down instead, let's 
um, make sure to flirt with our wife a little bit. Just make it clear, you know, you're still our wife. There's, we don't see anyone else. Hold her hand. Come on, Eric. She's getting up and running away because she thinks you don't love her. Maple is uh, off gaming <laughs> on her sister's computer. No surprises there. Um, not so. Let's go like this. We don't see that big hole in Sherry's heart, which is, you know, probably created by the fact that Eric uh, flirted with another woman. What are you trying to turn down? Well, I don't know. She was kind of like kissing us. So I was kind of hoping that maybe there was something with the new pack where I could say like, oh, we're taken, you know. Um, but it didn't look like there was anything like that, so. <laughs> Likes flirtation. Yes, I do think that she does. There, she's flirting back, too. Um, oh, are they off to woohoo? Of course they are. So, well, on that interesting note, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. So we got a little moment between these two again. <laughs> Our couple that, you know, s founded this legacy. They're off to go enjoy some woohoo after, you know, having a little rocky moment. It didn't really last very long, but, you know, it was a moment nonetheless. Um, but next time, what we'll do is it is going to be... Oh, it's not going to be on our calendar because we're not in the family. But it's going to be Liliana's birthday and she's going to be aging up into a child. So we'll definitely celebrate that. And then we're going to look at getting a bigger place to live back to steamy <laughs> yes we've have none of this this gen because uh ivy is not flirtatious and she's not into romance they're looking for love so but these two they were all over each other they just couldn't keep their hands off each other so we're getting a little taste of that again but yeah that's where i'm gonna end the part for today so i hope you all enjoyed it thank you so much for your patience i know Everyone loves the series as much as I do. So I'm really excited that next week we're going to be having two whimsy streams. I will try and do that again um, throughout November and December if I can. So we'll do two whimsy streams a week just to kind of make up for lost time a little bit. If you're on YouTube, please like the part if you're enjoying the series and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And I'll see you next time.